Confirm. Yes, it is. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. I'm pushing this button and all the major cities of the world will disappear into the earth forever. Oh, water. <laughs> The Morning Stream with Scott and Brian and a caveman. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to TMS. It's the Morning Stream for Tuesday, October 27, 2020. I'm Scott Johnson. That's That's Brian Ibbett. That's a hell of a way to introduce Justin Robert Young. I, I mean, agree. Jeez, Scott I agree. Fletcher. Brandy with Scott Johnson and a caveman. Well, he's hairy. He's a little caveman. slumped over, you know. Caveman sold separately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and needs batteries, I guess. Needs all batteries, those yes. Needs good guy batteries. It was supposed to be Wow Day. It was supposed to be Shadowlands Day, but they uh, this this date got canceled, and so... T- it's not today. It needs to cook a little bit longer. It needs to. It's not uh, fully baked. It needs a little bit more time in the oven to be good. And uh, and that's fine. I just really. I just want to play. I what know I'm why you're just impatient. Look, look, listen. If we can all, uh, if we can all learn something from 2020, it's the <laughs> things you might want to be waiting for for a long time. Like what a movie may not always come out. No time to die when you want them to actually come out. <laughs> I, I, there was an update on that. <laughs> the, they might sell to Netflix or somebody and do a. Apple is what I was hearing for No Time to Die. Oh, that, uh, interesting. Yeah. You might get an Apple TV Plus premium uh, No Time to Die business. Interesting. So still, you'd have to pay your uh, your f- premium fee, right? That's not just going to be included. My guess is that yeah, I don't think they're going to say we're gonna we're gonna buy it and people can just watch it. Mm. As long as they pay the five dollar, you know, one by one month of Apple TV Plus. Yeah, probably not. Uh, yeah, that's. I mean, that's better than nothing, I guess. I don't know. There's a bunch of like I've been noticing a bunch of new trailers saying out November third, and I'm like, mm-hmm. in theaters it says, and I'm like, uh, uh huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nah, what say. likely. It doesn't <laughs> seem like that's gonna happen. I don't know why they keep saying that. Like the third, there's some Kevin Costner thing coming out on the third. It looks good. Uh, hmm. I'm interested. But the third, really? The third in movie theaters. <laughs> you know, but there are still a few things that it's like, yeah, we might still try and get that into the theaters because we're not really thinking it's going to do that well in streaming anyway. Like the um, the Liam Neeson Honest Thief oh. thing. Is Empty Man, is that the, you know. Where did that end up happening, Honest Thief? That theaters? It came out, it came out uh, this last weekend. Or, no, I'm sorry, two Um a Friday, uh, a Friday ago. And that's another. It's a movie where he's got a special set of skills, and then uh, God, I know every. I'm sorry, <laughs> Liam Neeson, but every movie you make now kind of looks the same. Yeah, you're 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 done saving all the Jews. You're on to the. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. Doing this, like, what's your deal? Oh, man? You've made me angry. <laughs> now I'm going to come after you. <laughs> yeah, it's either revenge or you took my kid, so now I'm going to get you. Or whatever, yeah. like it's all the Taken template, and I kind of enjoy it. Like I'm not gonna yeah. lie, like that weird. What was that one that you recommended? And I ended up watching. I really liked it. The snowmobile Snow, the, one. The one in, uh, yeah, I can't remember the name, the name of it, but it was. It took place in the little snowy town. That was great. It was great. Yeah. It was, it was uh, better than it looked on paper. Why don't they just just roll into it or steer into it? And just make them all sequels to Taken, or put them all in the same franchise. Give him his own kind of John McClane. Every every crappy thing happens to Liam Neeson. Yeah, give him an HBO Max series. Just have it happen every week. How about that? Right, right. Get, there you go. I guess there is a Taken series, or there was. I don't think it did well. Hold on. Well, you mean you mean the Taken movie series, right? No, Not a Taken no, no. There's a TV Taken series. TV series, but I think it crapped out. Um, here, really? Yeah, here it is. Twenty seventeen. <laughs> this came and went like a fart in the wind. I don't even remember it. Yeah, twenty seventeen to twenty eighteen. So it's done. That's oh wow! Starred Clive Stanton as your main sure, dude. Sure, good old Clive Stanton. Yeah, and uh, the the tagline on their poster for their TV series was "I will find you." So there you go. Okay. No. <laughs> and they were talking about the if they were talking about the viewers. Apparently not. No, they will not find you. <laughs> They will find you in some weird place on Hulu no one goes. So I will enjoy. find you uninteresting, and I will stop watching. <laughs> I remember hearing about that going, oh, a Taken series, and then that's the last I thought of it. So Wow. Until today. Until today. We've caught up. 
Uh, hey, by the way, happy 2012. Today's episode 2012. Uh, we celebrate the release of Diablo 3 in 2012. Cool. Yeah. There were other things. Things happened in 2012, but that was a big one. And uh, mm -hmm. I think GTA 5 hit PS3 and Xbox 360 that year, I think. I think that's right. So that's another one to celebrate, I suppose, if you're into, you know, kicking hookers and stealing cars. So that's sure. a thing. Uh, so happy drinking, 2012, drinking everybody. Drinking hot coffee yeah. <laughs> in your car. <laughs> so w during quarantine, during COVID times, during limited lockdown times, it's always mm -hmm. good when you find a thing that is um, mm. cathartic or like yes. chills you out or find whatever. My zen. And so apparently Dude, Brian, the... Brian found a box of zen, and I wish we all had his zen. <laughs> I found a box of zen. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, discovering the painting minis is, uh, is my Zen. Mm. I didn't think it was going to be, but I am just totally digging it. And I will even send you a, uh, photo here. Ooh. Send uh, me a photo. I believe you gotta find where I put it. I put it right here. I put it right here in this folder right here. Mm -hmm. Um, upload. So I'm putting it into our, our discord. All right. And, uh, these are the two. Black Widow minifigs that that I've been working on. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this up into chat so I can see it here. Yep. Check this out. You uh, so the one on the left is Crisis Protocol. It's the um, oh I do I do have my Modoc. I have just right over there. I could bring it over. Um, but the one on the left is for Marvel Crisis Protocol, a little more realistic. The one on the right is the Chibi style uh, Marvel United right. Black Widow. Get the big head. For those at home big listening, head. if you're not on video, it's got a she's got a big head. Yeah, you big know? head, big booty. Yeah, <laughs> which it appears Modok is rooting for that one. He's in the background there, blurred out. He is. You can see Modok in the background. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's, <laughs> like, he's all boked it out, but he's he's seriously rooting for the big headed lady, which makes sense, right? It makes sense. Yes, exactly. Yeah, he likes but, his big uh, heads. Man, I'm I'm so looking for like I look forward to doing the next one. I've already got uh, Crossbones primed. He's sitting on a on the top of a pill bottle. <laughs> getting ready to be painted hold on crossroads prime what's the cross difference bones. Cro sorry, cross cross not crossroads crossroads prime him. is uh <laughs> it's a britney spears movie that transforms it's into a, a it's a, a robert semi johnson uh sequel yeah there you go uh no this thing uh, so that tell me what that even is i don't even know who he is what's that character crossbones you know who crossbones is well what makes him prime though I've primed him. Oh. I've sprayed primer on him so that I can paint him, Scott. I thought you said I got I've crossroads, got crossroads primed, primed over here. Primed. Yeah, I've got crossbones primed and ready to paint. Ah, primed. Got it. I thought it was prime. I don't know. <laughs> you never know. They got some weird Marvel event I've never heard of. And yeah, you know what? There probably is a crossbones prime somewhere, like you know, alternate universe or something like that. Yeah. Well, that's cool. He's cool. I like Crossbones. Yeah. He's all right. Yeah, he apparently is one that doesn't get a lot of play in Marvel Crisis Protocol. So he's a good one to do as like a second minifig for me to get a little bit, a little bit of uh, practice on before I move to Captain America and Spider-Man and um, Ultron and, and things like that. And Crossroads was, uh, MCU-wise, was in... Um, Crossbones. Yeah, or what I say? Crossroads? Gosh, Keep saying Crossroads. You really, you really want to watch that Britney Spears film. You pretended in film sack that you didn't want to see it, yeah. but you really want to see it, don't you, Scott? The whole time, I really, it was just a big lie. <laughs> but Cross yeah, Bones, rather, he was in there, right? He was played by that dude that got in the fight in the elevator. Um, Correct. Yeah. Uh, I, I keep wanting to say Frank Grimes, but it's not, is it Frank Grimes? Frank. Or is that the guy that was Homer's <laughs> nemesis <laughs> that the uh, nuclear power plant? Oh, right. Uh Ted Grimm. Ah, I can't remember his name. I like him, though. I like that actor. He's cool. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. so that's that dude. All right. Crossbones. And he yeah, barely he was existed. Two... He was dead in... Uh, or he, let's see. He, he exploded became... himself in uh, uh, Civil War, Soldier. right? Civil War, yes. Yeah. Which bummed me out, because I was like, well, we could have gone further with him, you know? Oh, totally. Yeah. I mean, that was the... I guess that was the... His, his explosion was the uh, tipping point for the whole... Yeah, I don't know, Captain. America it's like the Civil first uh, the first X Men movie had um, who's Wolverine's nemesis? Um, oh, Sabretooth. Sabretooth, and it was the worst Sabretooth. He just played Frankenstein, basically. He just like, mm -hmm. Ooh, it was like, and it was, and he dies in it, and it was like, yeah. well, that was dumb. This guy's a huge force in the comics, and you just waste him. Same with Cross right. Bones. They did the cross same thing. Bones. With cross Bones. So yeah, he first appearance Captain America Winter Soldier, second appearance Captain America Civil War, and what's weird is they also list him for Avengers Endgame. 
Hmm. But uh, oh, I remember that. Was there a flashback? I, there. Um, oh, maybe there was when uh, they're time hopping or something. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, maybe. That's I don't a, remember it though. I don't either. I have no memory of that. He's not. Yeah. Kind of in the mood for those two movies right now. I want to watch. Them. I totally am. Now that I'm looking at it, I, I was considering it when I finished the documentary I watched last night. Yeah. Like, all right, let's see what Disney Plus has. Oh, look at all these Marvel movies I wouldn't mind watching again. And, yeah. And uh, I almost finally picked the uh, the Wolverine back up and, and watched that since I still haven't seen the complete the Wolverine because I had to pee. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, because the you had to pee. While I was in the theater watching it. Yeah, the Wolverine's cool. Wait, which one's that one? The second one? It's the one where he goes to Japan. Yeah, it was it yeah. was a lot better. A lot better than Origins. Oh my gosh. A lot better than Origins. Let me tell you what's better than Origins. Uh, everything, uh, everything, everything yeah. ever. <laughs> all movies, all movies ever made. <laughs> all movies ever. It's yeah. so bad. Oh my gosh, it just bums me out. It's got Bean Fork in it though, so it does. We got that's, a, that. that's a plus. Well, uh, I can't wait to see progress on these. I'm, I'm, I'm jealous because I don't know if I have the same. Uh, patience for it i probably should just sit down and try something like this see how it goes you should you yeah know? uh we'll, we'll see yeah i don't know where you, i mean obviously you don't want to spend 60 bucks on the whole full marvel crisis protocol game just to find out it's like yeah i'm not a big not into the painting minis but um i mean you could go to your local hobby store and pick up like a D D mini paint it up do a dragon or something something really cool probably have something here and i just forgot i had it or oh probably yeah I'd look for that, but yeah, that's possible. And also, you know, part of me is like, well, I shouldn't I just be drawing then? And then my mm -hmm. my brain would fight me on which creative endeavor I should do. And mm -hmm. all the while, I'm thinking, well, where's Shadowlands? That's where. Where's that? <laughs> Have you opened your clay yet, Scott? Uh, it's sitting right there, uh, still wrapped. Got some tools next to it, just beckoning me to. That's what I should do next. I should go make my that own damn be, mini. And and that actually might end up being your your zen. That might be a very very zen thing for you to do. Right. Like try and try and make a uh, gurp or a, or a Henry or be, a gurp and Henry or Henry or gurp and Henry. Yeah. <laughs> a, a a horrible combination of of the two. Right, exactly we'll, one of those things we'll see Maybe what happens things. we'll see what happens <laughs> so yesterday we talked uh speaking of video games we talked briefly about speed running yes as kind did. of a you know a big event in video games people do it all the time how they do it why they do it and all that we got a a, a message from the happy swede who says <laughs> english is not my first languish <laughs> languish i yeah. love it uh, in his PS, so forgive any kind of weird sounding stuff in here. But he says, "Hello, Bot and Scry, and love the show. Just wanted you to know that if you have not, or if you have seen the classic WoW speedrunning times, sub thirty minutes, AQ forty, killing almost all trash and all bosses. Uh, I haven't wow. seen that, but I've heard about it. Encourage, encourage. A lot of bugs in there. Plenty of bugs. Gi <laughs> they bugs. really need to fix some of those bugs. Yeah, fix some of those bugs. Like literally, they're giant bugs with, with wings. Fix them." Anyway, what's uh, almost amazing, in my opinion, is not only do you have that one try each week due to it being a raid because it gets locked down after your run, you can only do a real attempt when Dark Moon Fair is going on because you can't get it, or sorry, because you can get a buff that increase your damage by 10% for two hours. Even more amazing to me is that the players play Alliance on this server, Genhenis EU. Genhenis, yeah. Genhenis. 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 What's your favorite <laughs> beer? I like it, the Genhenis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it says the dirtiest PvP realm where other faction uh, uh, factions camp world buff spots and the raid instance day uh, and night to kill you. If you die, you lose your buffs uh, or Jeez. dispel or purge the buffs right off of you before you can even enter the raid. Anyway, the point is like under duress, that speed yeah, running with, is with hardcore. Everything, dude. everything going against them, they still did the speed run. Yeah, that's amazing. Under it, under uh, thirty minutes. Yeah, it's crazy. I can't imagine that. In any context, me doing it. There's no way. Wow. There's no, no way. I couldn't do it. Speaking it's of people with free time on their hands, speedrunners, salute to you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah yeah, to you. Yeah, right. And sorry, chat That's their I, zen, right? They yeah. found their zen by uh, going as quickly as possible through uh, <laughs> through Super Mario Brothers or whatever. I, I just noticed my camera's out of focus, and I apologize. There's nothing I can do about it for the show because it's all controlled by the camera side. Sorry, uh, everybody. I'll just deal with it later. All right. Like uh, you look like uh, Sybil Shepherd in Moonlighting. A little bit. Yeah. A little Va soft focus. Vaseline me up, baby. I'm ready. <laughs> Addison. <laughs> 
Uh, you do it good. Four yeah. people know that reference. No, yes, I was going to say. <laughs> and one of them is you. There's three others. And one of them is me, yes. <laughs> All right, we got one more uh, message before we move on to mail time. This is from William, speaking about Marvel Unlimited. We were just talking about Marvel, so this mm-hmm. is good. We were. Says uh because we were talking about how they'd bump to make things sooner than later. It used to be six months, now it's three months, and so on. He says he has an actual reason why this happened. He says the reason why Marvel switched from waiting six months to only waiting three months is because there was about a three month period at the start of the pandemic lockdown that they didn't really put out much stuff. And two weeks ago that gap is uh in releases hit, so they had to start putting out what came next. Uh even though or I think th- Ever, I think you, you think you meant even. Yeah, probably is even though. Yeah. Uh, even just so happened to be three months of old books. The timing is really great though, because DC just announced that they're shifting their competing comic book subscription service from twelve months to six months. So Marvel looks like champions going into the three months. Uh, so yeah, that's interesting. That's basically the because of the early part of the lockdown, all mm-hmm. those delays. Remember that we talked about Stephen or with Stephen. Tons of delays. Comics weren't coming yeah. out. Yeah. People weren't getting paid. I don't know. That wasn't, that wasn't it. People were getting paid. But there was just like a huge gap in time. And now they've hit that gap. And they're like, oh, crap. We don't have stuff that's six months older anymore. We better do the three-month thing. So it's a win-win. It's like, well, not only do we solve our gap problem, but mm-hmm. now we also look better in light of this new DC service coming because we're, we are the, you know, we're doing a shorter amount of time. And DC exactly. thought they were gonna like just match up and say, "Well, we'll go from twelve to six. We'll do it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Now you're three. Now you're three months behind again. DC, come on, get your shit together. Um, got some other Marvel news today. Oscar Isaac. Uh, speaking of X Men Apocalypse, he was Apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, being considered for the lead role in their Moonlight. Uh, Moonlighting. Moon Knight. Uh, <laughs> the, the the Disney Plus Moon Knight uh, series. <laughs> And moonlighting, which would be great. Yeah. Look, Bruce Willis has big shoes to fill. It's a hard, <laughs> it's a hard job. You know, moonlight walks by day. Moonlight, sure. that's the moon one. Walks by night. Moonlight. <laughs> um, no, that so that's a series they're doing, not films, right? Correct. Okay. Yes, I'm down with that. Yeah, I think it'd be great. I yeah. mean, that's a good deep character, and that's probably a character that'll work better in a series than he would in a, um, in a one-off movie. I don't know about I you, but I, like I read the Moon Knight comics in the '80s and '90s, and I loved them. Um, yeah, I haven't read them lately, and I hear there's some pretty good runs I should probably check out. Mm. But here's the thing: I could never get it out of my head that Moon Knight looked like he's gonna get real dirty no matter what he did. <laughs> he's like a uh, he's like a white Honda Accord. I mean, as soon as you drive that thing off the lot, it's yeah. uh, it's 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 dirty. It's messy. Yeah, I don't know how you get around that. Uh, <laughs> as moon night because you're just everything's pure white and so you're just like I, it's all i could think of is because you're fighting at night you're up in the some grungy a parking lot taking on a bad guy whatever like right. dude you're gonna get all scuffed up and dirty there's gonna be like mustard packets around and <laughs> <laughs> gum on your shoe all right dice Trio says isn't moon night just like batman it's like no not really i mean no, not maybe at all. in maybe in the fact that he um he does most of his crime fighting by in the middle of the night and he's got a lot of gadgets but the dude is um um he's got multiple personalities he's a which, psycho uh, yeah which what? bruce wayne only has one personality and it's a dick <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it'd be just as easy to say well isn't iron man like batman like rich guys right exactly who spend yeah. all their money on their crime fighting stuff like yeah, I mean, there's there's similarities across the board. <laughs> Ken, Ken from Chicago sums it up. Moon Moon Knight is white crazy Batman. <laughs> That's what actually they should call the show. Like you know, crazy rich Asians. They should just call it crazy rich Batman. Yeah, crazy, crazy white rich Batman. White rich Batman. Yeah, I'd be down with that. That'd be all right. Yes, but he's got. Does he have? I mean, is the thing with Moon Knight is that he's loaded? Does he have a ton of money? I don't remember. He has a ton of money and. Um, uh he also has the fist of Khonshu, which helps him uh like an ancient egyptian ancient egyptian secret huh huh well, he's got a little fist of Khonshu there so fist so that makes him uh oh, it's been so long i don't remember any of this uh-huh. stuff so i, I know just, it's been a long time for me too that I would be remember cool liking it that's all you know mm-hmm. It was good. Might be a really easy minifig to paint too. I'll have to see if they make a Moon Knight. <laughs> yeah. Does he have any special like? What did he fight with? Just his fists, or what did he do? Yeah, here? and his gadgets. Okay. He had like, uh, you know, like the equivalent of of batarangs were his like uh, moon 
throwing throwing moons instead of throwing stars yet throwing moons oh right they're little <laughs> moons you're right little moons. okay oh, oh and under a f- cool. so tv zegon uh his friend from high school did art on the relaunch of of moon night oh no way he just put a copy of the uh, issue he worked on in the in the chat it's very cool oh look at that that's awesome yeah they're, they're, the the stuff i've seen in uh unlimited looks uh, great like mm-hmm. uh like stuff i'd want to see i wonder if there's like a leprechaun version that throws clovers well, only if you're... Blue diamonds. Ooh. <laughs> yellow moons. Oh. Yellow moons. He goes home Are yellow moon night? night at the end of the night. That's right. <laughs> After a day of crime fighting. Yeah. Just a Ooh, dirty... yellow moon night. <laughs> and no, someone in the chat says, I keep saying moonlight. No, I'm not. Never once said moonlight. I said moon night every I did. time. I said moonlight. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. But early on, I said it. Because oh. I was almost saying someone moonlight. Someone said, is Scott again. saying moonlight? I'm like, no. Moon night. Moon and night. Moon night. Oh, no, he's also night. Like he's a knight. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of Batman yeah, like stuff. Like the going Dark Knight. Uh huh. That's fine. This happens all the time. Like this is crop back and forth. Marvel and DC rip each other off, or back in the day, yeah. especially all the time. They had equivalents. Is it Lobo heroes. just Wolverine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a Lobo series. Don't get me excited. <laughs> It is kind of a, I mean, what, what, who, how do you come up with the name Moon Knight? I'm going to call myself Moon Knight. I'm moon. like a knight that moon. fights during the light of the moon. Yeah, it's not even like a good phrase like Moon Knight, N-I-G-H-T, because no one says. Right, right. Nobody says, oh, wow, what an oh, interesting moon night. moon night it is. Yeah, what a crazy what... moon night tonight, isn't it? <laughs> right, well, with Batman, it's like Batman. He's a bat. He's a man. He's a man, but just dressed like a bat. Much like a bat. Yeah, he's like yes. a bat. I don't know. Comics. What are you going to do? But anyway, yeah. thanks, William, for your uh, for your email there. And uh, if you guys have thoughts and feelings about stuff we say on the show, we like to read them at various points in the show, and you can send them to themorningstream at gmail.com, and we'd be happy to talk about whatever's on your mind. All right, Brian. Finally, this week, we get to some of these. I don't watch the news. Time for the news. Brought to you by... Fred and Ken, it's up this week, and it deals with daylight savings. Is it funny? Well, yeah, read it and decide for your own self. FredandKen.com. Yeah, go check it out. Uh, Fred's an idiot. Let's just Fred, put that. Fred feels a lot uh, about daylight savings the way I, <laughs> I, I do. I too. Yeah, I complain about, about it in the spring hardcore, but when I find out I'm getting yeah. an extra hour back in the fall, <laughs> I get kind of excited. So Totally. Uh, when is that, by the way? Is that this weekend? This weekend, I believe. So this sun- Sunday... Sunday, 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 right? I think. Yeah, and and yes, correct. It is daylight saving time, not daylight savings time. Yes, yeah, but Sunday, Fred, and Can are, Fred and Can are simple people who would not have. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> I'm getting my savings. Yeah, people get yeah, real. Saturday, Saturday at two a.m. People get real pedantic about that, but everybody I know says savings, and so mm-hmm. that's your comic. Mm-hmm. Enjoy it. Doesn't make it right, you know. Just because <laughs> everybody says supposedly, doesn't make it right. And doesn't mean Webster's has to add it to the dictionary. You're right. You're right. But they did. They did anyway. They did anyway. Yes. Those bastards. I never say supposedly. I give up. When they add whole nother, if they add whole nother to to the dictionary, I'm done. I'm done. I don't want whole nother. Yeah. What's another yeah. bad one? Uh, there's no, there's, there, there's no phrase. Whole nother. That's a whole nother story. No. Whole nother. Stop it. It's not even like a half nother, or <laughs> semi nother. I get. Yeah. Look at us. We're we're old men. You'd never say that's a whole another story. No. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Even you're right. Even the shortening of it is wrong. Yeah. Exactly. You're supposed to say whole other. So why? And it's no extra syllables. So when you say yeah. I've got a whole nother place, whole nother. Why do you do it? Whole nother. Stop I got a whole nother. Oh, we're all out of oh, oranges. Yeah, of oh, course. I got a whole nother box of those. That's just, why do we do that? Verse is another one. Irregardless. Oh, yes. You guys are all, you guys are all uh, triggering my, my, my word Nazism. Mm. Is that still okay to say? Can I still say word Nazi? Word Nazi? Yeah. yeah. Sure. I mean, actual Nazis, the fact that they've arisen lately <laughs> in some numbers, I think shouldn't take away from your ability to refer to word Nazism as what it is. The good, good word Nazis on both sides. Good word Nazis. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, we have seven days till this election's over. I know. Well, until, oh. until, until I starts and then counting. I, then but, I'm uh, going to be hiding in a little hidey hole for a few days, no matter what the results are. Oh, I are. guarantee you that. And we, like, and we won't know the results for 
days. It'll, it'll take a few days. But here's what I think. I think that um, well, we're we're gonna have to wait a few days just <laughs> because of the sheer amount of freaking early <laughs> voting. It is out. It's un, yes. It's insane. Like every record broken ever. Mm-hmm. So here's my thinking. It happens. I I hear it, and then I don't. I I um, I, I remove myself from it for like <laughs> multiple days. I don't want to yes. hear about it. I don't want to talk yeah. to anyone about it. I don't want anything to do with it. I just want. I'm Brian Ibbett, and I approve this message. There you go. There's our <laughs> There's our political ad for the month. Enjoy. <laughs> well done. Okay. And we'll talk to Jerry about it in about an hour. Oh, stick yeah. around, everybody. Yeah, stick around for that. <laughs> I guess we'll have him on election day. Yes. Then, wow. Will he? He'll have predictions. Will he be available on election day? Oh, I'm sure he will. I assume. All right. Ooh, that's a. It's a big get. He uh, <laughs> he he prizes his time like, here on like TMS. Jesus on Christmas is what we're getting. <laughs> it's like baby Jesus on Christmas. Yeah, he's <laughs> it's like getting Anderson Cooper on New Year's Eve. Exactly. Man, yeah, no, he he prizes his time here. I think he'll. Uh, he does. He'll 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 be here. I'm not I'm not too worried. <laughs> uh, speaking of things in politics that are not at all political, this is just an interesting hacker story. Yes. Uh, President Donald J. Trump's Twitter account was accessed by a security expert who guessed a password. So I didn't even have to be much of a of a of a security expert to get this, but he has yeah. no he has no two-factor authentication on the account it turns out. And uh the password is all lowercase maga2020 and an exclamation point. <laughs> no caps even. Like yeah. this isn't just some joke or some like uh what do you call it? onion article. This is like legit yeah. uh MAGA 2020 exclamation points. A Dutch security researcher said he accessed Trump's The Real Donald Trump account uh, last week by guessing his password. Uh, Victor Gervers, a security researcher at GDI Foundation and chair of the Dutch Institute for Vulnerability Disclosure. I love that. Where do you work? Mm. I'm at the Institute for Vulnerability uh, Disclosure. (laughs) Vulnerability Disclosure. You know, the DIV. By the way, your fly's open. Yeah. Uh, full disclosure, you're vulnerable and your fly's open. Yeah, exactly. Uh, finds, sorry, finds, um, yeah, let's see, where, where, where the hell was I? Oh, uh, it finds vulnerabilities. That's what they do. That's their job there. Anyway, yes. they told TechCrunch he guessed the president's password and was successful on the fifth attempt. So other guesses didn't get him in, but this one did. The account was not protected by two-factor authentication, which granted him full access to the account. After logging in, he emailed U.S. CERT, to, uh, a division of Homeland Security Cyber Unit Security, uh, cybersecurity and infrastructure uh, security agency, the CICA, and disclosed the security lapse, which TechCrunch has seen. Gerber said the president's Twitter password was changed shortly thereafter. Uh, would you? How quickly would you? Uh, would you email Homeland Security to say, "By the way, uh, I just logged in. I got Trump's password." Just to let you guys know, would you? Would Would you have a little fun? Like, well, he so he took some screenshots like, of like it. Like a little, little uh, tweet and say, I'm sorry I've been such a dick these last four years. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just one just one thing. Just one line. Just one tweet. Yeah. Right. <laughs> just to say, yeah, I'm, you know, I like puppies or something like that. Um, right, here, exactly. Chad, when you can see this picture here, it's it's a screenshot of him tweaking the settings. Um, so you can see the the actual page here where you can go in and like change your description, <laughs> change the photo, do all that stuff. Oh, like he was man. in there. That must have been a weird ex- feeling of like, oh my gosh, I'm in the I'm like the most notorious account of all time in here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could do some real some real business if we Jeez, wanted to. I know, I know. I mean, I guess I guess that probably would be a uh, would be an illegal act, right? It would be a it would be hacking, and especially if you're. Um, from a foreign country that could be <laughs> could be very unpleasant i don't know i don't know how that works yeah i wonder if wonder if it's it probably it was illegal because hacking somebody else's account regardless of the method even if it's just guessing a password is illegal but to do it in this context where you're like hey i did it i found the password and i got in you guys should be aware of this like that's a good thing to that's a good service that's why people all the time will discover vulnerabilities and then it's like, oh, we found out in uh, Android 8.2 that um, uh, when you push this button, it makes you take a shit or whatever. And so they call <laughs> Google or whoever and say, guys, you you got this problem, and then they fix it. It happens all the time with Microsoft. Like, they want this kind of 
this kind of thing, right? They want people to find right. these vulnerabilities, but then not exploit them. Instead, report them. Yes. So I mean, um, that is the better thing. I so, just, I just, uh, my last, my last tweet idea I liked. I like this one a lot more. Mm. Here, here's my tweet. Go. My Twitter password is MAGA2020 exclamation <laughs> point. Knock yourself out. <laughs> oh, the damage. Yeah. <laughs> what would have happened is one guy would have gotten in there and changed it real fast. And then he'd have had. Yes. And he would have set up two factor authentication and he would have had a lot of fun for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until. Yeah. Well, anyway, the, the lesson takeaway here is get two factor authentication, number one, yes. and have better exactly. passwords. That's just the, that's yes. the lesson. Do you, use, do you use Mad Max Fury Road as your password on any on any device or any uh Nothing. Zero service? things. Service? No? Nothing has no. that. No. And I use one password, which means I have one password no one will ever guess. And everything mm -hmm. else is all giant jumbled letters. Plus, yeah, I do two-factor on good. everything. Everything has yeah. two-factor that I can. If you don't offer two-factor, maybe I don't have it there. But if you offer it, I do it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. every time. And I use uh, – oh, Tom has one he always recommends. We'll have to ask him tomorrow what it is. But I use – one oh, I just use the Google Authenticator app on iOS. Oh, oh I see what you're saying as far as your, uh, your, your TFA. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It works great. The mm -hmm. Microsoft one I don't like. I tried it. it I don't boring. like the Microsoft one either. I do like the Google one. I like I like the ones better that text you. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, and those but those are, those are less secure, I guess. Um, right, because if somebody has your right has access to your phone, then oh great, easy. But I'll uh, take those. I mean, if that's all they've got, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. Um, hold on. My weird sister sent me a text while I was looking at my phone. Your weird sister. Yeah, uh, we're we all going to be guessing on which one the weird one is. We don't talk a lot about Tara on here, but my sister Tara is uh, got an interesting story of life. We could tell one day. Oh yeah, today is not that day. She's okay. Now. <laughs> we get along fine now, but it's not that day. It's been a real run for her. Let's put it that way. Oh yeah, that's okay. Though. She's doing okay. Uh, all right. Here's a story number two. This is a number two story. Okay. <laughs> It's not about number two, I promise. Here's a number no, two. No, no, but I bet I bet some number two was going on. Probably a little bit. Uh, rodent, the uh, pff, rodents. <laughs> Excuse me. Rodents have been blamed for massive Paris Las Vegas power outages. It's according to uh, safety experts, and now there are some safety questions that still remain. Uh, if you haven't been to the uh, Paris Las Vegas. Uh, casino. It's basically an Eiffel Tower out there and a bunch of river shit, and it's cool. I've been anywhere in a yeah. long time, Scott. Yeah, for all you know, anywhere. it doesn't even exist anymore, Brian. It's been anywhere. There. By the way, the, the Venetian's the one with the. Um, oh, Venetian. The, the what am I thinking yeah. of? The Paris is the one. That's... Paris has the Eiffel Tower and um, and the Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse. Who has the river then? The Venetian has the, Venetian. the river. Mm -hmm. Has the canals. Oh, because Venice. Of, because Venice. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. See, that's how long it's been since I've been in Vegas. I thought the rivers are in the Paris. Anyway. That's, it's too long, Scott. It's, I know, too, it's too long. long. It is too long. I don't like it. Uh, investigators are blaming rodents for interfering with some energy equipment. Energy equipment. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you just say electrical equipment? Like energy equipment? That's weird. Some energy equipment. What is this? KTNV, huh? Yeah. That's a local thing, isn't it? Yeah. Nevada. Local We've thing. got uh, some energy equipment in the basement. Yeah, you know, what do you got down energy. there? You know, energy equipment. We get some. Uh, we pour a monster in there every uh, thirty minutes, and uh, <laughs> we get energy. Well, sounds right. It says uh, the Paris Hotel Casino went into darkness on Thursday night, but the incident has raised additional safety questions. Video from inside the property showed the usual vibrant property in darkness as people got around by flashlight. Ooh, like dystopic Vegas is so weird, and like lights yeah. out Vegas, so weird. I don't, I don't like it. Um, you can hear people in the elevator screaming, get me out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but don't have a French accent. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're only allowed in here if you're French. <laughs> Sorry, that's the Oh, rules. get me out of here. Get me out of this elevator. Right open with a baguette. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just know when you go to Vegas and you go to Paris, you, you have to be French. What we're saying. <laughs> I had to look it up on Google Translate. Oh, well, well done. So Thank that's actually way. That means get me out of this elevator. That means get me out of here. Let's try this elevator. Get okay. me out of this elevator. Oh, I love this. 
Soma de cet ascensu, Gerard de Pardu, going to pee on me. Oh, <laughs> wow, wow, I would have never guessed. Yeah. That it really adds would... a bunch of stuff, Google Translate. Yeah, sure does. Um, <laughs> that's a story we covered on the show, so if you don't remember Gerard it de is, Pardu yes. peeing Just on drop an airplane. Just and pee down the aisle of an airplane, yeah. Gerard de Pardu. Yep, he's, he's awesome, that guy. Green card. <laughs> we saw his bum in... Uh, three Musketeers. Yeah, yes. Three Musketeers. Or no, Man with the Iron Mask, that was it. Oh, that's right. right. They were the three musketeers, but he was playing a musketeer, but the movie was man. Yeah, asking. he was full of nougat and creamy hot chocolate on the outside. All right, moving. Here, <laughs> you uh, you can hear people in the elevators yelling. As I mentioned, uh, said it was stuck for about an hour. Uh, let's see. Mm. Uh, the Clark County Fire Department rescued people stuck inside six separate elevators. Ooh, this is my idea of the worst nightmare. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ask Tom sometime, too, about how he feels about being stuck in elevators. It is his number oh, one yeah. fear. He hates it. I don't and and I don't know if uh, if there are backup generators, but does that mean the elevator, you know, once everything shut down, mm. uh, was it totally black inside, like completely pitch dark, or oh. did they have a backup generator doing some light in there? I don't know. See, that ugh, gives me the That'd creeps. That'd be even worse, right? Like, gives me the creeps. I don't like it. Uh, the Las Vegas police evacuated the casino floor while the people staying in the hotel stayed put. So they were told to stay in their rooms. Mm -hmm. I guess this happened at... Yeah, this happened to me at the Flamingo back in the 90s. Oh, yeah. That one right. night, right? And uh, same thing. And, they, and we got the thing on the speaker going, Please remain in your rooms. This, we've got a power outage. I'm like, dude, it's 3 a.m. Don't yell in my room, you weirdos. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> says uh, <laughs> what concerns people most, or what concerns me most, is a quote by Donna Olds, the hotel guest. Donna, Donna, she Donya, a, Donya, oh, okay. Donya. She's uh, Donya Olds. What concerns me most is why the backup <laughs> power wasn't on. Olds and her husband were celebrating their 30th wedding anniversary, which actually occurred in August, but a trip to Las Vegas was delayed by the pandemic. Well, I have some bad news for him. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, the couple <laughs> couple says uh, nothing worked in their 22nd floor hotel room. The Wi-Fi sucks. Nothing I can't works. get showtime. My husband's <laughs> penis is flaccid. <laughs> oh, they just mean electrical equipment. Uh, they just, I think, well, I don't know. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yes. Oh, now I, I requested understand. turn down service. Where's the mint on oh. the pillow? I don't think I've ever been stuck in an elevator. I'm like, I've had, you know, maybe an elevator stopped for like a minute or something. It was a little blip, but I don't even know if I, I don't even know I if I remember either. that happening. Like, neither have I. Yeah, I think I'm good. That I, I, yeah, I don't want to ever. No. Oh my gosh. And if it's going to happen, it'll be in Vegas where there's so many elevators and multiple elevator levels and ugh, just sounds miserable and awful. By yeah. the way, you know, I, we'd be I'm trying at to think if. Oh, go ahead. There'd probably be, like, I, I wouldn't mind being stuck in an elevator if it were with specific people, but I think even then it would kind of get really bad. Oh, yeah, it depends, like, how long you're in yeah. there. If you're in there oh, for right. 30 Brian's seconds. Brian's stuck in the elevator with the Spice Girls. <laughs> okay, that'd be fun for half an hour, and then I think uh, Posh would really get on my nerves. On your eighth, what you really, really want line. You'd be <laughs> exactly. It's like, all you want is to get out of there. I was thinking, I was thinking about this this week, because speaking of elevators that are gnarly, um, had this been a normal year, we would all, like, uh, I assume you would have been, because you always go, we would all be in Anaheim right now. Yes. Like, right now. Well, we would be getting ready to. It's, it's usually right after Halloween. Yeah, but this time they were going to do it a week ahead, because... Oh, of, they were. Okay. What was the reason? There was a reason. I can't remember what the reason was, mm. but this was supposed oh, yeah, to be... Uh, now, someone at Blizzard told me this, and I can't remember what they said. But anyway, it would have been... It would have uh, been this week? Yeah, it would have been this week. At the very least, sometime this week, we would be at the freaking Hilton going, man, that DJ is too loud, and <laughs> where should we right. eat? And when is Christian Nairn going to play? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I waited in line at that stupid uh, Blizz store for two hours, and all I got was this lousy Death Knight bathrobe. <laughs> Bums me out, man. I just want to... I want to go. I was really yeah, looking forward too. to this year. I don't know why. Yeah. It just was. That was too. Well, we didn't. I didn't go last year. Neither did I. Took that one off and yeah. uh, thought, oh, no big deal. We'll just go next yeah, year. Yeah, there'll be one next year. Exactly. Yeah. And there wasn't. Yeah. No. That, that teaches you. There's a lesson in that. 
don't always count and on the fact thing. that they're and the fact that they're doing a blizzcon or whatever uh, a non-con in march blizzcon right? con, con blizzcon online blizzcon line that's blizzcon line uh. yeah i know it's so bad it's so bad. <laughs> someone thinks it's great but it isn't me in, in march right is when they're doing that uh february i believe February and so does that mean they're going to say, well, we did one for 2021, so we're not going to do a an official in person event at the end of 2020? I mean, it's a great, we did. It's a great question. They may not be able to commit then, even like if we yeah. don't get our shit together. Will we yeah, eighty thousand right. new cases this week or whatever it was? Like we yeah. gotta we gotta slow. We gotta we America needs to get their poop together. We gotta figure this out and do it That's soon right. and come together a little bit or something or <sighs> what are we even doing? exactly what are we doing all right so rodents one vegas zero <laughs> paris zero <laughs> yeah animals man they don't care they don't give a crap they don't care give you me know. my pizza let me <laughs> let me chew on some wires in your energy storage unit do you have any cheese in this hotel <laughs> we are famous for liking the cheese they didn't even say what rodents they just said rodents rodents i know yeah. could have been rats could have been was, uh, i'm saying i think uh it was uh, charmander charmander <laughs> what power actually what? i guess it would be a pikachu right because they they love electricity and yeah, they're kind is, of rodent are there yeah. any uh would pikachu or any other pokemon do like an emp kind of power where they shut all the power mm, down yes i think he i think one of his attacks might be like an emp kind of thing all right sure all right sure i'm, I'm into it Yep. Uh, and, next up in the uh, the list here, we got Germans. Germans are in this. We got the Dutch earlier. Now we got the Germans. Okay. Uh, did the Germans? The Germans. How does it work? Did the Germans not like the Dutch, or there's some something going on with the history of the Dutch? Oh, and the really? Germans? Isn't there? Or am I making that up? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, might be. I don't know. I'm I'm unaware of any any animosity between uh, Germans and Dutch. I thought there were some. I mean, not the same. Deutsch. They're not the same people. I know that. I mean, you get um, Deutschland is another name for Germany, but not. But, Dutch wouldn't um, like the Germans because of the war, maybe, says Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> because of the war, maybe. So that whole war thing, maybe, was what I was thinking of. The world, the whole World War II thing. There was that little right, blip exactly, in history. Yes. Okay. That might Dutch be. Dutch is, is uh, Netherlands. Uh, Germany is Germany. Right. But did they invade? Uh, I don't know. The Dutch. Uh, Jeannie says the Germans took their bicycles. Uh, we can't get a we can't get an honest answer out of the chat room. No, not today. <clears throat> today is not that day. Oh, <laughs> Mino uh, Mirovina says yes that they didn't in uh, um, that they did invade. So they did invade them. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should know that. Why don't I know that? I know a lot of things about World War II. I know that uh, stuff happened there. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got, so far, uh, so good. Check. <laughs> I knew about Poland, you know, invading Poland, yes. France. Uh -huh. I knew yeah, about check. the France Correct. thing. Yes. Uh, what else you got there? I knew about Russia going, no, thank you, and coming come the other direction to push them out. And uh, right. I guess I just didn't know about the Dutch. I knew about I, America riding over, flying over there going, hey, look at us. And then. And uh, where do Stroop waffles come into play? When, when, where do those. Uh, every damn day. A oh, little good Stroop waffle. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe it's a soccer rivalry. Maybe it's a football, uh, international football thing that I'm thinking of because they are rivals. That oh. might be what I'm thinking of more recently is them having sure, sure. like a hardcore like football fight thing. I could be right. wrong. Stroop waffles yes, are one and, of those. And yes, uh, Dice Tomato Deutsch is not Dutch. Correct. Right. Correct. Uh, Stroop waffles are German paratroopers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and they have a beer I rivalry. I have a box of Stroop waffles right here behind me. Oh, what? In your office? Jeez. In my office. Bad right. stuff. Well, it's because I like, you know, in the morning, fill up my mug with some hot coffee, set a Stroop waffle on top of there to keep the heat in. Mm -hmm. It softens the Stroop waffle, softens the caramel. Your secret's safe with me, man. I don't, yes, uh... and I don't know why I gained so much weight. <laughs> no judgment here. <laughs> um, oh, I have a doctor's appointment in a, in a week for just a mm. uh, they're doing the six month whatever i don't want to go mm -hmm. i don't want to go i, 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 I gained back you'll like be fine 10. you've been doing great i did but i kind of slip a little i'm back 10 pounds back it's not quite the mm. 30 back but 
you know, I don't know. I don't. I'm worried. They take my blood and go. Oh shit! There's we're missing four kinds of blood you need, or I don't know what they're going. To do. <laughs> it's uh, Wonder Bread is only building your body three ways and not seven. <laughs> uh, I have been better about that kind of stuff, but I shouldn't worry. It'll be fine. You know what it is? It's just this combination of everything. Normally, in any other year, like, all right, I've been doing better. I'm gonna go to the doctor, check it out, and it's in between all my normal everything. But now it's like. Oh, no, it's, you're doing it during a pandemic, and there's an election, and there's this and that, and all the pressure and the stress and the stuff. That's what's mm -hmm. different, and I don't like mm -hmm. it. All right. Speaking of this German man, he set the record with 516 body modifications. Wow. Good Lord, That's man. A lot of mods. That's a lot of mods. That's a lot of mods. <laughs> That's more He's more mod than man. That's right. He's got uh, deadly oh, boss mods. Oh, my God. I know. Look at that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you think it, you hear it and you go, oh, that's a lot. Let me see. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, he's he's got. Uh, wait, that's the Pope down there. I don't want to see the Pope. Yeah. Right. Let's take a look here at this dude. Yeah, look at that, you guys. Oh, jeez. He's got the horns. He's got rings to spare. He basically gave himself metal facial hair. How basically, yeah. Right. Exactly. How do you shave in between that? I don't think you do. I think that. Uh, I mean, do you have to take everything out to to shave? Jeez. Yeah, got the At what point eyes. do you say, "Yeah, I feel like I just need one more stud in my upper lip." Yeah, <laughs> just one more, one more to get to get her done. Oh, he split the lip. He's done that. Of course he did. Uh, he's tattooed, which of course counts. Uh, he's pretty much end to end on the tattoos. Oh, the uh, video. Have you? Oh, you. I'm watching it now. It's <sighs> it's. Uh, uh, what, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The the black uh, eye situation. The yeah. black. Yeah. Right. Like, oh, he was forty when he started getting him. He was he never had one until he was age forty. And now yeah, he this is, is why I don't like... have a daughter. She's she'd bring home somebody like this. And... <laughs> Dad, I love him, Dad. I'd like you to meet my new boyfriend. I my we him. just got married. He loves me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that black, the tattoo on the eyes thing, that seems dangerous, doesn't it? It does. Bit? That seems like a dangerous thing. I'm I mean, look, I, I, here's my overall take. It's his body. Yeah. Go for it. Well, do what course, you want to do. Yeah, 100%. Like, this is your your thing. Yeah. I, I have no problem with this, but I could I love do it. the old pictures of him standing with a pony. Yeah. Right? Boy, did he, boy, did he go the other direction hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really rough. Wow. I, I want to know. He's got. Uh, there's like a one of his um, uh, tattoos on his chest is a fairly large drawing of a woman, and she looks very familiar. I got to see if I can pause it right there so I can see. Oh, is that Deborah Norval? So if... <laughs> really? Deborah I don't Norville. know who it is, but it's an odd. I understand having like you know Wonder Woman or you know some famous lady, but yeah. Deborah Norval. Yeah. Wow. Deborah Norval. Norval. Yeah. May as well put Ann Curry or something on there. <laughs> In the news this morning. Right. Uh, yeah, it's I'm like just saying. Fell down a flight of stairs carrying a tackle box. <clears> go, go. I say go for it. And it sounds like he's sure. probably built a little career out of out of this, and that's great, dude. Freaking all power to you. I could not get even close to this not even no one no. I, I don't even think i can do a single tattoo because i'm i'm so picky about what i want oh really tattoo I, i'm still planning on the tattoo but uh but i don't feel like there's anything i want to pierce nope nope and you know we're not seeing below the below the equator there you know there's uh, some... <laughs> oh god yeah no kidding yeah. yeah we're not seeing all 516 uh mm -mm. On the... <laughs> Mm -mm. Yeah. Chain link fence downstairs. Oh, yeah, you want to see my hand again, everybody? Oh, Way yeah, see better. your hand. How are we Things doing? Oh, look at that. Good. Yeah. Just red. Yeah, just healing red. up. And it's funny. Again, when I look at it, it's mm -hmm. like the, the skin color is just slightly different. But when I put it up, whatever it is about this this light here, it makes it look like it's purple, but it's it's not. Yeah. Wow. Like if I if I took a picture of it and showed you, you'd be like, oh yeah, it looks totally fine. So um would you ever let anyone tattoo your eye whites? The eye, the no, whites? Uh, yeah. no, 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 me either. Nope. I feel like I'm no, barely. I, you know. I would not get a tattoo um, anywhere above my shoulders, like neck, face. Yeah. 
I mean, I guess I could do the behind the ear thing like Tristan did, but um, Carter did that. She's got a little uh, uh, mm-hmm. fig leaf or not fig leaf. What's the peace leaf? Is it a fig leaf? The peace leaf? Yeah, the one um, that the, they always show a dove carrying. What's that leaf? Is yeah, that, uh, it's right? uh, it's a it's a fig. Leaf. It is a fig leaf. No, a fig leaf, olive, olive leaf, leaf, olive branch, it. right? <clears throat> she has a little olive le- leaf thing down the back of her ear. I could do that. But mm-hmm. you're right. Anything above the shoulders, like f that. I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, certainly and, not doing the uh, machine gun Kelly or uh, who. Some of these other people who do elaborate face tattoos with words and phrases and stuff like that. Nope. I mean, I wonder <laughs> if you could. Ask, I would love to ask that dude. What's your favorite modification? Like, what of all this the guy, stuff on of the you? 516 guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. What would he like? What? How would he even remember? Yeah, like, that's too many. It's like asking me what. Like, oh, really happy about this stud right here on the uh, right side of my lip. Uh, I mean, if someone one. asked you, Brian, what's your favorite song or your favorite song period of all time? Do you have one? I do. Romeo and Juliet by Dire Straits. That's your number one song. That is my number one favorite song. of okay, all Okay, maybe. So, so that maybe disproves this because I think somebody who has a lot of a certain <laughs> thing is harder to find uh-huh. a favorite. Like if I asked you know steven schleicher your favorite comic book sure. of all time that you'd have a hard time with it but maybe he wouldn't maybe he'd maybe be- he wouldn't i don't know yeah <clears throat> that's interesting because mm-hmm. i have a hard time with that if someone says what's your favorite video game of all time to me it's like the one i just played the- <laughs> i played so many of them i could definitely point to important game you know games yeah, of my life i mean you I, know red you dead know. redemption or or world of warcraft or um, right i could say oh Zelda, ocarina of time but then again there's other video- and like i could just go on for days about the fight yes yeah, would yeah i'd have one. a way harder time picking a favorite video game um you have a favorite movie clearly yeah i, well, yeah, I do now yeah <laughs> i don't know brian if you heard but in 2015 something happened in my yeah, life i know believe and, uh... me in three days when we do <laughs> tms 2015 <laughs> oh i didn't even think about it we got 2015 oh my coming god up. It's only a couple of days, a few days. <laughs> Might be an episode. I, oh, I'm going to be washing my hair that day. Sorry. Uh, uh, Brian's got a thing, you guys. No show today. Just Sorry. Kidding. Oh, that's the beauty of it, though. 2015 happens no matter whether you miss a day or not because we still have to count it. Right. Right. You're just exactly. delaying the inevitable. <laughs> be, I guess it'll be Monday's show because. We don't count the PMs and we wouldn't have a we don't have a PM this week anyway. That's true. So Monday is happening. 2015. Get ready for it. Monday confirmed. <laughs> Monday also the first. It is the first, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. No, oh no, second. no, no! You're right. The second. Yeah, Sunday's the first. There you go. Uh, oh, hence the clock change. Right now we got. Now it's all coming mm-hmm. together. All right, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we'll spend some time with Justin Robert Young. Find out what's going on in these waning days of this political cycle. Uh, always good to check in with him. That's coming up right after this song selection by Brian Ibbett. Yes, well, uh, it's it's not often that we have one of these on the show. We've had sing. A swim is just what I need to revive my strength. Ah! That's not water. It's alcohol. It's super effective. The morning stream. Rambling goes in, podcast comes out. You can't explain that. And we're back, everybody. Wow, the gypsies under the stars. That seems. I thought we were only supposed to call them travelers or Romani now, Brian. That song is. You know, really <laughs> That's right. She limits. did sing that, didn't she? Yes. Yeah. Well, hmm. I, I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't change her. I can't change everything. You can't change who she is. She's going to be who she is. Exactly. She's going to be who she is. By the way, uh, people wanted to see um, MODOK. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look. MODOK. This is the MODOK. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Minifig. Yeah. Kind of uh, washed out there with the lights, but. uh, Oh, I like it, dude. Yeah, this came out great. Like the shine on on his little floaty chair thing. Yeah, yeah. He looks real good. Yeah, I display that proudly. I'm I'm really proud of this one. That's awesome. And now he's going to. I'm going to get you, Black Widow. I'll get you, whether you like it or not. One day I'll get you. All right, <laughs> Justin Robert Young entering the fray. We're gonna get him in here, get this going, and have a discussion. Don't even know about what specifically today. I don't even really know. 
I'm going to talk about the emails. What about the emails? Huh? What about the emails? <laughs> you want to ring up the emails? All right, let's do it. These are their stories. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm terrible with names. Uh, hey, everybody, check it out. Look at this. All the way from Oakland, California, in these waning days of the 2020 national election cycle, it's Justin Robert Young joining us. Hello, Justin. Hey, friends. What's going on? Hello. You gave oh, your yeah. uh, beard a little trim, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I did. I yeah. did. I gave it a little uh, a little trim. Yeah? What was that for? Are you just feeling uh, trimmy? What's the deal? I just wanted to wanted to, wanted to, 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 to tighten it up a little bit. Tired of, tired of food getting fallen in there and having to... Uh, you know, it's... It's uh, the waning days of the election, and uh, yeah. I, I have I have nothing but uh, uh, hot flames shooting out of uh, every like inbox I have, and sure. and, and uh, Twitter and uh, this chat room. So uh, I, I figured the best thing I could do for myself is keep my beard tightly cropped so it doesn't so it doesn't like just burst into flames and uh, <laughs> and permanently disfigure me it seems like Love the it. right move to make yeah i like it it's nice uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> i've noticed uh, i have this weird thing that is exclusive to you i'll just mention this before we get into stuff because i thought about it the other day there are two things that happen with me in regards to justin if i yes. see anybody anywhere with a a beard and haircut that's anything even close to yours. Yeah. I feel compelled to copy and paste it and send it to you or to put it on Twitter yes. or to otherwise make note of it. <laughs> I don't know why. It's usually on Twitter. It's usually, usually on Twitter. On Twitter. Usually yeah. on Twitter. Very, very Look rarely do I get a beard. <laughs> very rarely do I get a private message from Scott that says, Hey, look at this guy's beard. Almost right. universally it's this is you. Yeah, right? this is you. Which, where, uh, where, how did I? Or why didn't you say you spent time in Malaysia? Here in, is you in exactly, Malaysia. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So then, there's that. Number one. Number two. There is a troubling racial element to this. I, I might, I might add, if you actually look at all of them, it's very rarely like, "Hey, look at this." Like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, there's. Yeah. There is a reason. There is a reason why I've been I've been called ethnically ambiguous, and yeah. uh, uh, Scott's finding all of the ethnicities for which I could be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm finding a lot of origin stories. Then the other thing is, <clears throat> if anything has anything to do, preferably video and preferably with audio, anything yeah. to do with mayonnaise, yeah. I now feel it is my duty, <laughs> nay, my requirement as a human being to capture it and then share it with you again normally on twitter yeah um yeah i just think it's important once, i, I don't once know once somebody finds out that you don't like something if you're like a podcaster or some sort of internet uh uh <laughs> performer video uh, celebrity kind of thing once they find out that there's something you don't like they're going to send you as many of those things as possible yeah because we're friends that's what friends do oh god yeah yeah oh yeah. no 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 it's very funny it, it is again puzzling like i don't i don't quite i don't quite know <laughs> you know like people don't everybody doesn't like a condiment right yeah. like is there anybody <laughs> who's like very proudly like yup relish too yep. and mayonnaise yeah. and mustard yeah. and dejeunese and all of them i love them bring them all yeah, i'll slather right. them on my sandwich like uh, uh i don't know if anybody i think everybody has some kind of personal uh uh, beliefs on on that but uh apparently the the mayonnaise thing has always touched a nerve and i'm always happy to stand on the right side of history and against uh the, the foul foul mayonnaise i think there's just something funnier about mayonnaise like if you would have told me i don't like mustard that have been the end of it like there's just sure i don't know right. why mayonnaise something about mayonnaise is funny also i noticed that like if a youtuber is going to do something dumb with food it almost always involves mayonnaise at some point mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's just yeah. something about it, and even the chat room now is starting to have their arguments about whether Miracle Whip is better than mayo. Like, it's just this weird condiment that sits above the rest, and I don't even—I could give or take it. Like, I don't mind it on a sandwich. I don't love it. It's not my favorite thing in the world. But when I heard Justin hated it, I just thought, yes. you know what? My job now is to find many <laughs> examples. And the latest one was just <laughs> this you. guy who takes really hot molten metal and puts it in food yeah. products. And he dropped a molten hot red cube into a, b- a thing of mayonnaise, and it was just glorious. The results. Well I, well, I mean, what I don't know is that you find them at such regularity, you have to be looking 
if not for them, <laughs> then looking at a place for which this is a regular thing. Like, Do you have a Google same... Alert set up for that? Or... No, like, actually. I, I would, it's... Yeah, I would imagine that, like, you see a wherever you're looking for viral videos or you're watching some whatever, you know, uh, fail army, you know, uh, uh, thing or TikTok, like, that you see a may a video that has something gross to do with mayonnaise at the same frequency it's not all the time but the same frequency of like how often they'd play a reggae video on mtv in the <laughs> 90s like it wasn't like once an hour you'd see a reggae video like you know it wouldn't wouldn't be all the time right. you're mostly getting tony braxton or bone thugs in harmony but every once in a while <laughs> there's there's shaggy that's a deep cut I like it. Uh, it's very good. So I can tell What's you what I, I can tell you what happens. I think this is a testament to TikTok's algorithm because I more than more than regularly I get something with mayo in it, and it must know that I'm in the market for a bad mayo yeah. video I can send to you. I don't know. Mm. Like that that happens mm. on that service all the time with me with things that I'm that I like. Like I like dogs and dog videos, so those come up all the time i think cute little babies making funny noises and laughing videos are funny and those come up all the time like stuff that i that cracks me up and that i would share out show up a lot and so their algorithm's pretty good at the mayo thing it turns out i mean look they they got that magic algorithm and apparently it's serving you white gold yeah it's doing all right uh (laughs) can't argue with those results (laughs) (laughs) All right. Speaking of results, we're seven days from some potential results. Um, yeah. Given the uh, so here's here's the big question. Uh, given the just the sheer amount of like record breaking early vote that's going on, which seems seems record breaking by the numbers that I saw on a uh, couple of sites. I where think. They were uh, breaking it down. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's it's pretty universally understood to be record breaking. Yeah. So <clears throat> given all that, that also sounds like a logistics nightmare because now you're going to have like a lot of states, in, uh, the law is you can't start counting until the third, until election day. So a lot yeah, of these votes. Yeah, I, I are, really, I really need to do brush up on exactly which states they are because they're, they're, they may or may not be ones that will decide things. Yeah. Uh, I know they're not as prevalent as as I think we might fear, but but yeah, many of them are are counting now, and then they can report on election day some can't count until election day but at least they can get some kind of sense of uh where things are going by the time that they will report their in vote totals and then some can't even start counting it until uh after like the polls close on election night so it just seems Mm -hmm. like logistically no matter what we're talking about a massive undertaking regardless of who can start early who can't considering the massive turnout for early voting, the expected massive turnout for actual day of voting, the massive mail-in voting for states uh, where that's lawful to do so. All of that stuff adds up in a year where there's a pandemic and there's other things that slow this sort of stuff down naturally, but also capacity at the at the, uh, at the the level of the post office isn't exactly prepared for this kind of record-breaking stuff. Um, not even to get into the stuff about whether or not you think the new postmaster general fiddled with that or not. Um, this seems like a logistics nightmare to me. So my guess, I guess what I'm asking you is, do you have any predictions on how long this is going to take? Like when does an anchor look into the camera and go, well, we're, if we feel comfortable in saying such and such state is gone for whoever. Well, here, let me, let me, let me, let me put it this way. Uh, so I'm looking at this right now. Yeah. The 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 state that does not count or process ballots before election day that matters is Pennsylvania. Okay. All the well and Wisconsin. So it's like Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. Right now, if we are to take the polling to be correct, and Joe Biden is indeed leading in Wisconsin by the margin that he is leading and he is winning in Pennsylvania, it would be hard to say that this is anything but a Biden victory. Right. Uh, right. Because the likelihood based on what we have seen in terms of early votes are that Democrats return votes or do early voting far more than Republicans do. Right. Uh, but all the other states, uh, Ohio, North Carolina, Florida, they all process and count before Election Day. Arizona process and counts before Election Day. Texas does. 
uh, Michigan will be processing ballots before election day. So I don't think that that necessarily is going to be the reason why we will have a major problem. That being said, I agree with you that this is a logistical nightmare yeah. and uh, we can, we can point at whatever we want to for it. But the reality is the, the States that do this kind of voting have built these systems up over several years. Uh, very rarely do you do it on such a fast turnaround, like many of the States have done with uh, uh, in, in this year. And you certainly don't do it with budget shortfalls in the way that most states have now, because most states make a lot of money on sales tax. Uh, even, I mean, certainly the ones that have no state income tax. And we are not seeing a whole lot of people going outside and buying things, which is normally how you generate sales tax. So this is, uh, I think, going to be, we're going to see holes in this system. Mm. I, I don't think that that is that that is a question. I would caution everybody to understand that these are imperfect systems that were pushed past their limit because of extraordinary circumstances before we immediately find the boogeyman in the shadows. Yeah, uh, because I I do think that there will be ample reason for some of these systems to 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 fall apart or at least show strain right so if okay so uh, if, here here's here's what i know for sure no matter what happens there'll be plenty of stuff for spin from the biden campaign and the trump mm -hmm. campaign regardless like mm -hmm. if if even yes. if let's say biden just blows this out it's just an excuse for trump to say it, yeah if, 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 if biden Rigged. yeah if it no 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 look if if biden is winning in Ohio, Pennsylvania, or he flips Texas or something crazy like that. Uh, this is over on election night. Yeah. Like this is, this is a wrap. Right. Like that's it. We, we, we get a, we get a call on election night. That's that. The way that this drags out is if Trump is leading in Pennsylvania and Michigan, and now the lawyers descend to make sure that they have eyes on literally every ballot that can possibly be counted. And that's where we get into the legal hell. Mm. But, but if that does not happen, then this is a wrap and it might be a wrap on election night and mm. it would be a wrap for Biden. I don't think, I don't see a scenario in which this is a wrap for Trump on election night. Okay. Mm -hmm. And are you doing any, I hesitate to ask this because, you know, I don't want to end up like that Nate Silverman guy. But do you do you have a hard prediction like silver Nate Silver or silver? Did I say Silverman? You did. <laughs> I made him more Jewish. Nate Silverman. Than I, he's not as Jewish as he as I made him seem. <laughs> uh, wow, uh, wow! You you went right there and then doubled down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sometimes I say stupid shit. So anyway, here. Uh, but what was I going to say? Like a like a like a like a traveler in the night. Yeah. Uh, is, but do you are you hesitant to make a prediction? Like, are you? Uh, it's oh, I, I have no idea. Who knows? I mean, like, uh, who knows what these polls mean? Who knows uh, uh, what this pandemic is going to do? Who knows how many of these early votes or mail in votes are going to count by the end of it? That's the other thing is that there are laws in a lot of these states that mandate, you know, your signature has to be. A, a computer match to the signature on your license. Yeah. Like some states have notaries. Uh, there's there's a lot for mail-in balloting that people, I don't think people realize are as complicated or how many of these ballots can legally get thrown out based on the laws that are on the books. Yeah. Uh, you know, whether or not we like those laws, like them's the rules that we're playing monopoly by tonight. So uh, uh, I have, I have no idea. I have no clue. I, 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 there is, there is the, the only thing that I have held to from the very beginning is I do think it'll be close. And so therefore I guess I'm taking a contrarian opinion beyond uh, uh, what the polling says right now. And I think it's really hard for incumbents to lose. So it would not surprise me if Trump wins. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, if, if I were forced to say something, then I guess I would probably stick with what I said two years ago, because to me, 
I would rather be surprised by the abnormal happening, which is an incumbent losing, uh, than be uh, surprised by the normal happening, yeah. <laughs> which is an incumbent winning. Yeah. Uh, but that being said, would I be surprised or shocked? No, no, I have, there's, there's no part of this that for me, I think I feel in any way confident on. And I think anybody who does feel super confident on it is lying to you. Mm. Oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't have, I, I, I've learned over the last four years to temper my <laughs> expectations. So I'm, I'm yes. kind of at a point where I'm just like, all right, we're going to see it. We're going to hear it. We're going to know it. Maybe it'll, it'll be later because of the craziness. Maybe we'll know that night. Like you said, something weird with right. big States flipping or something. Maybe then you find out. Um, but it just, I have this plan. I'm going to listen to the coverage. If they make the announcement that night, they're able to safely say, looks like, blah, blah, blah. then I'm going to shut it all off and I'm not going to look at it or think about it. I'm not going to hear any of the speeches. I'm not going to hear any, anything. I am ignoring it all until it, it, as long as I can. I won't say until January, whatever, <laughs> when he, when, when whoever leaves the office or whether he stays in or not. Like I, I don't know if I can make it that long, but I am gonna, I'm gonna do my damnedest to do that. Are you worried? So here's the big question to you, and I hope this isn't too yeah. weird. Are you yeah. worried? Not worried. Are you thinking about the idea that? If Biden gets in and we're suddenly now in a place with a much more boring president, okay, he's not, there's not constant shakeups and constant freakouts and every day isn't a new news story surrounding him and his circle. Does that diminish or not, not diminish? Does that make you worry that the content for what you do is going to be diminished at all in the coming four years? Is that a thing you've even had to think about? Does it, does it matter? No. no. Okay. To, I mean, because... Mm -hmm. Donald Trump's going to begin his 2024 campaign. <laughs> <laughs> so true, yes. I'm not even joking. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, anybody who thinks that this is over, nothing is yeah. over. Yeah. So, like, like either he wins or he runs again yeah. or his son runs again or somebody else that is that is very much like him and might be a more effective politician uh, uh, runs. And you hate him or her more than you hated Trump. And you look back and say, well, at least Trump was funny. You're, you know, like this is the, 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 the cycle that we are on right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't think that anything's over. Uh, uh, I, I, I wonder how the discourse is going to be around Biden, because I don't think that he is going to be particularly, uh, I think we are going to get a very, very, very quiet presidency yeah. if Joe Biden is elected. No. Um, I don't think he's going to want to talk. I don't think that the press is going to necessarily press him on on things all that much. Uh, we'll see how far that goes. But to be totally honest, if that's the case, then do you think that CNN and MSNBC and everybody that uh, uh, reacts to everything that's on Twitter, that they're going to stop paying attention to donald trump's twitter account no no in fact if do you anything, think that that's do you think that yeah. that's not going to drive discourse yeah do you think that we're not going to find a reason to dunk on 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 x y and z sure if joe biden wins it's gonna be yub nub and everyone's gonna dance uh, because they blew up the death star and, and it'll be very <laughs> exciting for for democrat voters and people who hate donald trump but i i don't I, 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 this, this idea that this brings peace or that this is when we can not care about politics again. If you've been this spun up about politics now, well, win or lose, I think that we are still redlining after this election. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hate to say that. that's, that's why I want, that's my entire point of like, I want to be there on that day. I want to participate in my civic observation uh i'll have voted my family will have voted and now we see the results and then when i know those results i'm turning it off because i know it's only going to get freaking worse like i'm in the immediate aftermath even because right now i mean if you ask me hey scott you have 20 bucks you have to put it down on a candidate i'm probably putting it down on biden because i just feel like the the sheer amount of early voting and momentum is swinging his way and not mm. just because of polls it just feels that way i could be wrong whatever but my point is that's where i put my 20 bucks 
if I'm wrong, if I'm right, either way, I don't want to hear anything from, I don't want to hear what Trump or any of his people have to say in the aftermath of either a win or a loss. I don't want to hear any of it, none of it. So I'm going to just I like mean, head in the I, I sand. Will, I will say, I will say you would probably get a fairly, if Trump gets thumped, you'd probably get a fairly magnanimous Trump that night. Um, really? It would be, it would be afterward. Yeah. If you look at what, how he reacted in 2016, where by all accounts, he did not expect to win. Yeah. But you know, when he, when he came out like that, that was a moment in which some people wondered like, Oh, is this the actual guy? The guy who was like, Oh, I want to thank secretary Clinton for running a really hard race and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, now it wasn't. Uh, but in that moment, <laughs> when he was when he was comparing Brian Priebus to a big, beautiful horse like Secretariat, yeah. uh, he just seemed kind of like a corny politician guy. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So I would suspect that that's what we get on on election night. But past that, I think he'll come back and say, hey, look, if it weren't for the the uh, uh pandemic and the virus which was nobody's fault and by the way guess who will be counting every single hospitalization and death if he loses mm-hmm. um you know uh, uh and if uh, and and watching the stock market and uh if it if it goes down then he will mm-hmm. be uh, uh crowing about it and and that's where that's where it spins back up again but my <laughs> my thing today is the same as it's been from the very, very, very beginning of this Trump stuff, as people got freak, you know, super, super fired up, and they were like uh, uh, lionizing some random fake Twitter account that said they were the rogue forestry department or whatever nonsense we were doing back at the beginning of this. Like, right. peace is here if you want it. Yeah. You are you you can step back and not torture yourself because guess what. I don't think you're going to find that piece at the ballot box. You'll you'll find a different party at the ballot box. You'll mm-hmm. find different priorities at the ballot box. That's something that is very very much uh, uh, there for you. And if you believe in that, then please 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 go vote. But you won't find peace. Peace is between your ears, and you can have that at <laughs> your command. Yeah. Uh, uh, because otherwise, you are just running yourself around in circles. Well. All right. We'll see what happens. It's obviously down to the wire. Um, we assume, we probably shouldn't assume, but we assume we'll we'll see you on election day. That's next Tuesday. No. Next Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. A week from today. Jeez, that's yeah, week so from today. crazy how fast this is happening and how slow it was to get here. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> seven days from now, we'll have you on that morning with some last minute, you know, kind of takes and talks about what's going on that day. Uh, on the sidelines a lot can happen in a week by the way (laughs) like a lot of interesting news and Mm -hmm. twists and turns and everything else i mean we're not even talking today about it but literally they they under the wire got a new supreme court nominee in last night and and that's oh yeah by the way yeah the 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 the, the supreme court tipped remember that thing remember the thing that was like the uh, the 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 biggest reason why you should go vote in every election prior to this election yeah remember that remember that little chestnut remember that little guy yeah yeah it happened it happened yesterday night it happened yesterday night now the thing that whenever you were like i don't know about these candidates and somebody came up to you sweaty and disheveled but the supreme court but the Supreme Court, they were just talking like Doc Brown. But Marty, the Supreme Court, the, the Supreme Court hangs in the balance, Marty. Well, that came and went. That came and went. Yeah. Like 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 a fist fight in the eye of a hurricane. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had the thing that used to animate every election since I've been alive just kind of came and went. And the Democrats didn't want to even push on it mm-hmm. because they were afraid it would be damaging to the biden campaign yeah they didn't even make a big deal about it because they figured they could raise money uh uh uh, on her confirmation and they didn't want to damage biden's standing with suburban women by having a bunch of politicians come as hard on uh come down as hard on amy coney barrett as they did on brett kavanaugh uh so which is insane like i i crazy I, I I've added to the list of wacky, wacky things uh, from from 2020. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All of it came down to two untimely deaths. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. 
like <laughs> like two untimely deaths of two long running seats in the court happening at yeah. the timing that they happened it's almost magical for them <laughs> like <laughs> what the frick happened there <laughs> all right uh all that and more of course coming out of your face every day uh and it's all good stuff people should be checking it out point people in the right direction this week before we get to the election what do you want them to do yeah, politics, politics, politics dot com is where you need to go if you would like to get uh, the 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 podcast. If you want to support the show, uh, and that means getting uh, five episodes. In fact, you can get the episode that came out yesterday. I literally just posted an episode right before I came on here. It's a little Minnesota about whether or not I'm going to have to apologize for denigrating Joe Biden's campaign strategy this entire summer, uh, uh, as well as uh, we have some good guests, hopefully coming up uh, uh, over the next week and then a bonus episode uh, featuring Andrew Heaton. You can get all that for only $3. That's all it's going to cost you to get all the bonus stuff from now until election day. Uh, uh, you can do that at takepoliticsseriously.com. Very nice. I'm going to play this on time because I remembered it this time. The jury will now retire. Justin, thanks for your time. We will see you next week. Good luck and goodbye. All right. Very good. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. As always knowledgeable always, treatment of always. the content by justin robert young that means we're done <laughs> i know is that crazy we're done with this show here forever no for today we no. made it through another day don't worry we'll be back tomorrow and uh nicole won't be here we've heard but uh we're gonna have plenty of recommendals don't you worry mm -hmm. we gonna... even have a nicole recommendal without nicole what oh that's right she said in her text <laughs> yes now that you say that, I do remember that. So that'll be tomorrow here on TMS, and we're really glad to have you all here with us today. We're going to get out of here, though. Before we do, a reminder that you can support this program and what we do and how we do it over at patreon.com slash TMS. If you haven't yet done that, consider it. There are many cool things you can get. Read about them at patreon.com slash TMS. A reminder, no PM edition this week, but there will be a play date on Saturday at 9 a.m. Uh, that's Mountain Time at frogpants.tv. You're all invited to come play the brand new Jackbox 7 collection, which Ooh. just came out like two weeks ago or a week ago. Uh, so much more. Anyway, go find it out at frogpants.com slash TMS. And now a song from Brian Ibbett. Okay. Uh, so recently celebrating our 2000th episode of TMS, and we had a request yesterday 